Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Favi, and welcome to Arrows DIY. On my channel, I like to do Dollar Tree DIYs, high-end dupes, thrift flips, and the occasional trash to treasure. Today, I'm going to finish up a project that was working on yesterday. If you missed it, I will link that video below. But for now, I'm thinking I might participate in a collaboration. So there's a collaboration called the Quick Change Collaboration, and it's hosted by Teresa B. DIY, and it's co-hosted by Sarah over at Sunflowers and DIYing. I might participate in that. And um, this is what I was working on, this beehive. So it's originally an egg. I got this at do a family dollar. I don't know why I said dollar general yesterday. So sorry. It's totally family dollar, and I paid $5 for it. So what I did was I started with these miter shears. You see these miter shears? They're very handy. They're kind of difficult to use. And um, I took these yesterday and I snipped off the corners here between all of the slats to kind of make it kind of rounded. And then I sanded it off. So once I did that, I used some paint in the color honeycomb by Folk Art. I figured it'd be fitting. And I want to make this into a beehive entryway welcome sign i think hi everyone hi thank you so much for stopping by let me just say hi really quick to everyone here hi liz hi steve hi jason hi tammy thanks so much for stopping by we got lola hi lola we got robin we got maria hi wendy uh thank you guys for all for popping on hi maria did i say that i don't know wendy once again Let's see. I hope I didn't miss anyone. Oh, there's Jerry. Hi, Jerry. Just really quickly, just trying to see if I'm saying hi to everyone. Hey, Jerry. I was just live at Jerry's. Um, I'll link that below as well if you want to check out that live. We were making miniatures for dollhouses. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Hey, Mary. And hi, Tammy. Hi, Stephanie. All right, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. So I'm going to finish this off today. And um, so yesterday what I did after it dried, I used some paint to make a little hole there and then I painted the bottom here as well. I also used some Mod Podge and I Mod Podge this corner and then I just waited for the napkin to dry. The Mod Podge is completely dry. So today I'm going to use some Faya. And I want to burn off the edges here. You could also sand them, of course. But I wanted to try this fire trick. And this is interchangeable because all I'm going to do is add something at the bottom so I can change the flowers out with the seasons. And I'm just going to add something that says welcome right here. And it's interchangeable for your seasons. Now, I use bee-themed home decor for spring, summer, and fall. Pretty interchangeable, if you ask me. All right, so if you're new around here, welcome. My name is Fabi, and I'm a mother of five. I DIY on my spare time. I love DIYing for therapy, for fun, all those good things. I'm going to burn this off right now. So hopefully, hopefully I don't burn my entire house down. But um, I'm going to trim this down a little bit because you do need to control the burn. <laughs> ah. I almost said that's what she said, but that's not appropriate. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and light it up and hopefully it works. Let's see. But I'm going to light this little corner here. It's on fire. It's on fire. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. And there it goes. Do you see how it leaves kind of like a burnt edge there? Super duper cool. So now it does leave like a burnt edge, but I'm okay with that. I don't mind it at all. And it's so much fun. It's even more fun when you um, do this trick on like a word, because then you can see it go into all of the little um, nooks and crannies and all those things. Be careful because obviously this is wood, but that's how it came off. Do you see it? It's kind of like charred on the edge. I want it to go closer, but it's not going closer, but it's okay. It'll be fine. So, okay, let's do the other side. I'm not impressed, guys. I'm not impressed. Let's try it again. Ooh. 
Ooh, that was fun. All right. So obviously you want to do this in maybe over your sink or something rather, but that's how that's turning out. Have a little bit more over here. And that also helps give it that kind of distressed look that I wanted to get. I did this today. It was so fun. It worked great. You have a lot of paper there though. Yeah, I know. Um, I did the Mod Podge and ironing technique. You put the Mod Podge down, let it dry, then iron your napkin on. It burns the edges beautifully that way. Ooh, I'm definitely going to have to try that one. That sounds interesting. Hey, John, welcome. Just over here painting some wood. Kidding. Burning some wood. All right. So we got all that done. Yesterday, I added these flowers. And I did not paint white under because I wanted them to kind of fade in the background. So now what I want to do is some kind of distressing and I want to add the flower box at the bottom, as well as the welcome sign and some kind of topper. So I had a, some time to think, and I want to make a big shabby bow on top, a big shabby bow. So I can't find my wooden crates. I don't know why. I have a ton, and I don't know where they went. So I think I'm just going to build my own using some of these wood pieces, the wood planks from the crafter square. I'm just going to build my own. That way it's more custom. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and use some Gorilla Hot Glue. And I'm going to make a sign. Now for the shabby bow, it's going to get kind of shabby chic E up in here. Thanks so much. Stephanie, I'm going to have to try that out. That sounds amazing. All right. So I'm just trying to get this package open. One second. My camera went wonky. All right, why does this always happen when I'm live? One second, hopefully that fixes it. There you go. All right, so I'm just gonna make a box. Make a box. And I wanna make like a planter box at the bottom. So, we're making a box. We're making a box, people. We're making a box. All right. So let me turn you down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So let's move this away from here because I will burn something. And I also have these wood planks, the rectangular ones, also from the crafter square. And I'm just going to build it. So just a standard box. I mean, nothing too fancy. I was looking for the crates right before I hopped on here. And I do want it to look kind of ship lappy. I'm wondering, should I just, maybe I should just go like this and make it flush. Yeah, I might do that one. That way I don't have to use that many flowers and it'll look more full. So I might just put these like this in the front at the bottom there. I'm going to have to cut one down. Let's see. Should I make it small? Should I make it big? What do you guys think? Do you think I should make it small like this? Or do you think I should make it larger like this? So I'm planning to craft live um, Wednesdays at 7 p.m. If you guys are interested in that. 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern, and um, this is what I'm thinking about doing something like that. The small one? Oh, she says the small one. Maria says the small one. Hmm. And I'm going to paint this the same color as this so that it just looks like a hive as opposed to an egg and a hive. I'm sorry, as, as opposed to just an egg. And yesterday, this one didn't clip off. So I'm going to go ahead and clip it off. And this is exactly what I did yesterday to round out those edges and make it more um, of a hive. So hopefully you guys can find, sorry if you guys can hear my kids, they're awake. But um, I'm doing this craft now because since it's close to Easter, maybe you guys can find the same piece if you're interested in the beat decor. Maybe you can find this egg shape and then make one for yourself. 
for your entrance. I'm going to put it in the entryway of my home, but you could totally, um, you know, use it wherever you want, really. So I'm just, yesterday I totally forgot to, um, to do the bottom piece here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And um, there's going to be a whole playlist of people participating in the quick change challenge. So I'll leave the playlist link and the host channel links in my description box below in case you guys want to um, check them out and, um, you know. So this piece here, I completely forgot to do yesterday for some reason. Still looks like an egg. Well, you have to squint. Do you have your glasses on, John? If it still looks like an egg, you totally need your glasses on. I think the larger one makes a nice base to the beehive. Larger, smaller. All right. So we have how many votes for larger? It, all right. So it looks like we have two for larger and for smaller. I think I was going for the larger as well. Plus, let me see. Good idea. Larger, okay. All right, all right. So I'm gonna go for larger as well. I think it might be good going larger. All right, so I'm gonna take two of these. Let me move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna take two of these and then I'm gonna put one in the middle to make it together, but I'm gonna hide the one in the middle. So the one in the middle is gonna be on the inside like this. Very basic, not a big deal, you know, very basic. So. I'm going to start off by putting these two together like this. <clears throat> and then I'm going to glue the next one. I kind of like how this is darker. I kind of want to... This is a pretty one. I'm not sure I want to... Oh, well. Oh, well. Whatever. Let's get to crafting. And I'm just going to put them together with this other one with this third piece. And I'm using Gorilla Hot Glue in my glue gun, so I'm not too worried about this wood. If you wanted to antique wax it, you wanna antique wax it after it's hot glued together, because the antique wax kind of gets in the way of the adhesion. So this is how it's looking. If it has the larger box at the bottom, this is how it's looking. Oh goodness, oh there you go. Thank you camera, thank you for working. Okay. So that's how it's looking. I think I think that's going to be cute. Okay. So now I'm going to take one second. Let me just grab another pack of the of the wooden rectangles. They're right there. Okay. So I just got another pack. So for this project so far, we've used three of these at the bottom. Hey, Billy. Welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this one probably in half to make some sort of a rectangle. Should I make it slanted? No, I don't know. I don't want to get all fancy because it's going to complicate this. <laughs> ah. All right, like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this and hopefully it, um, where's my ruler? So a second ago, I was getting all crafty and I made this on Jerry's live. It's not done yet, but I just made a little mini bookcase. So Jerry has this amazing dollhouse she found. So if you guys want to check her out, her name is a happy hoarder. And we just made some really fun stuff over there. She has a whole bunch of really cool pieces that she found on eBay and she gets them from all around the world. That lady really knows how to find her stuff. So now I'm just measuring three inches. Is three inches going to be too far? In here. Three inches. Yeah, that's going to be too far. Sorry. We're probably going to do more like two inches. So I'm going to do two inches here. You hear my baby? It's 
so funny. All right, so here's Jerry. If you guys want to check out her channel, you're welcome, Jerry. I'm not lying. Her channel is called A Happy Hoarder, and she has the amazing stuff. All the things, all the things. She has all the things. Let me see. I'm just going to measure this. I have hot glue all over this thing. I've been cracking away. And I also have a new video coming out on Saturday that I've been working on. It's a private collaboration video. So hopefully you guys can check it out Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I found when I cut these, I'm about to cut two pieces with this two-inch width. So it's two inches here. Two inches. It's two inches from here, from here to here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Two inches this way. And I'm going to cut two pieces the same exact way. Now, when I'm using my miter shears, for some reason, it wants to cut right through this wood. It wants to crack it. So a second ago, I just realized that if I wet the wood... No, John. No. Behave yourself. Okay. If I do that, it doesn't crack. So, like, what I'm saying is this, this is just water. So disregard the, the brown color. I'm just going to rub some water on both sides. And it stops it from splitting. I just learned that on the live with Jerry about 20 minutes ago. Found that really fascinating. There has to be some science to that. And there's a lot of woodworkers in the chat today. So if somebody could tell me how that happened, that um, why the wood would help it not crack, that would be awesome to know. More people? Did I miss someone? Hi, Sandra. Thanks so much for stopping by. So I am just going to use the same one, and I'm going to mark the next one. And pardon me if I'm rushing through, but <clears throat> I've already been live today, so I don't have much time um, for my before my baby starts wanting mommy back. It softens the wood fibers. All right. So let's hear some of this wisdom. Oh, my goodness. I just pulled a muscle in my neck. <laughs> Ow. It softens the wood fibers because water softens the wood. Wow. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Jerry. I appreciate that. All right. So I am just going to cut it on that line. This miter shear is, you need to have some serious strength. I told you you were going to hurt yourself. I know, right? You did tell me to be careful. I literally use my entire body weight on this miter shear. Like you literally need serious hand muscles to make this happen. But it's all right, guys. We're going to... Goodness gracious. I need some spinach, guys. I need some spinach. I need some pop. Some Popeye. I need a Popeye moment. Come on. Come on, Wood. We're live. Cut. <laughs> All right. He's going to cut? I hope it cuts. Come on. All right. Is that working? I hope that's working. Oh my goodness. I have some miter shears, but with my arthritis, I can't use them. Oh, that's what Nancy said. Exactly. Just add more water, right? I know. But then I'm afraid that it will stick if it's too wet. I mean, I feel it going through. It's just, I don't know. It's not high quality wood, so I can't expect too much from it. It's Dollar Tree wood, you know? All right, so I got my two pieces here. Uh, all right, so now I'm just going to... Poor Fabby, you got this. <laughs> Thanks, Denise. I appreciate all your support. All right, so this is how it's looking. I think I like it. I might put the welcome here. What do you guys think? Should I put the welcome here? Yeah, I think I'm going to put the welcome sign here. So now I'm just going to attach this to this in this corner right here. One second. 
So I'm thinking of, so remember how we glued these two together and now we have that third piece up here, thinking of just adhering it to that little space right there and hot gluing this like that. Hopefully you guys can see that. So I'm just gonna put hot glue here and then put the both sides on there. And all that's gonna be in here is foam and flowers. So I'm not too worried about this being too like, um, of it not holding the flowers because it totally should be able to hold the sunflowers. So like I said before, I'm using Gorilla Hot Glue, but you're totally allowed, you know, on your project, you can use wood glue, um, E6000, whatever you prefer. I just like using hot glue because it's just handy and it's right here. So I'm just going to do that to both pieces here. Yes, put welcome on the box. Awesome. That's why I love to cut my cutoff saw. Yeah, I mean... Nancy, you, you are so fancy with your cutoff saw. I love that cutoff saw. She has like this mini saw to cut through all those um, tumbling tower blocks. Yes, put the welcome on the box. All right, awesome. So this is what it's looking like now. And then I am going to hot glue it to this. But I think I'm going to add two more to the bottom here. Two more of those wood slats. So, so far we've used four pieces. Oi, I burned myself. And I'm going to use um, two more. So, so far I've used, sorry, two in the front, one in the back, and then we cut one more. So, so far we've used four. So, you would need six so far for this project. And I think I'm going to just go like this. I think that might be what I do. I'll just go like this. <clears throat> like that. Let's see if that'll... Oh, no. I might made it, make it too front heavy. Is that going to stay? I hope it stays. Okay, I hope that stays. I really hope it stays. Hey, Leanne, thanks for stopping by. I'm getting one of those saws. Sounds amazing. It is amazing. Those saws are amazing. Um, that's next on my list. What is she getting? Oh, there's a little four inch saw called the Mighty Might at Harbor Freight. You could use for small things. Yeah, I saw that saw. I want to get it. I caught the replay of part one. Oh, thanks. Yeah, so I'm going to link the part one. Thanks for watching. I'm going to link the part one of this to um, the description box below. And hopefully, okay. So I think, do I hate this popping out? I don't know. Do I hate it? Hmm. Will I use it? Okay, so now I could either space this out this way, like that, or I can push it back. What do you guys think? Should I push it back? I could also cut this off. Won't be very easy if you see me use my miter shears. It's definitely not easy. But, um, yeah, see, I want to get one of those saws also, but with the children, I don't trust it. I mean, I would literally need to carry the little saw on a backpack all around my house to make sure no one gets, um, hurt. It's definitely dangerous. So, you know what? I'm just going to leave it like this and just put it like this because I'm going to paint the whole thing black. So this shouldn't be too, um, it shouldn't be too noticeable and also i think it'll help with the stability i hope i think it'll be all right i'm just going to glue it so i added the one little piece here you don't need six wood pieces you only need five i'm definitely doing this as i go so and let me show you all the angles so you can see how i'm putting it on 
that's how that looks and i'm going to paint the entire thing the bottom i'm going to paint everything in the same color here this color is called maui sand it's a chalk paint so i'm just gonna hot glue it like so right on there just add some flowers on that lip yeah i i guess i could yeah you could i could totally do that too I'm going to add some hot glue to the bottom here. Oh, no. Okay, and I'm going to add some hot glue here as well. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Like that. And then I'm going to clean it up as fast as I can. All right, so that's how that's looking. And I like it. I think it's going to be cute. I'm excited to see how it turns out. All right. So that is on there. That's going to be our little flower box situation. That's that's what's going on there. Now I'm going to go ahead and paint the whole thing. And the color is Maui Sand. Where did I put it? This is the one. Maui Sand by Folk Art Home Decor. You get you some if you like. It's more like a gray-ish color. Yeah, definitely a gray. It's like a grayish color. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this because paint needs to dry. And I need to put these kiddos to bed. So let me just hurry up and paint this. How's your day going today? Hope you all had a great day. I had a great day. This day flew by. I love busy days. Days just fly by. Although we have a storm outside. Do you guys have a storm where you are? I heard there were some tornadoes. So I hope everyone is staying safe. I hope you guys are all out of the um, that watch. Hey, Fabi, do you know the current beehives are all square stuff? <laughs> Oh, John, you are so great. Did you know that? You are so great. You are so great, John, and so supportive. Oh, I use my rotary tool. Oh, you like it? I love that great, too. That's a great idea, using the egg for the beehive. Thank you. See, John doesn't think it's a good idea. I literally saw this in the store, and I said, is that, I could totally make a beehive. And I'm obsessed with bee decor. Do you guys like bee decor as well, or you just don't like it? I know it's a very specific theme. I'm obsessed. I think I'm obsessed just because I love honey <laughs> and all of its um, properties, and I'm I'm very big on like, you know, helping the bees and I would totally have a beehive if I, you know, could do it. I totally would. I would be all about it. I would get the whole gear. Um, I totally would. Okay. Okay. So that is that. I'm also going to paint the insides and the sides as well. So we don't look a hot mess, you know? I mean, it should look good from all angles. Especially if it's going to be on my front door. You know, people wait at the front door. So you kind of want <laughs> everything looking good. They're looking around, you know. I love bee decor and ladybug decor. Oh, that's awesome. I'm trying to keep up with the chat, but guys, I got to. Okay. So if you're catching the replay, you could totally talk to me still if you want to. Um, you could add whatever comments in the comment box below and I'll totally respond because I love hearing from you guys. Whatever time you find the video, you find time to watch the video, you could always leave me a message. I love talking to you guys. Well, I love talking in general, as you can hear. <laughs> when I was little, I used to get in trouble all the time with the teachers. They would just tell my mother, she does not stop talking. What's wrong with that little girl? <laughs> she just keeps talking and talking and talking. That girl won't stop. All right. So 
that's how that's coming along. Let's do the other side. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. I appreciate that. Yes, please hit that thumbs up button. If it doesn't pain you, if it pains you, don't do it. I don't like telling people what to do. You know what I mean? But I, I do like reminding people. So if you guys don't mind and you're enjoying this video, I would really appreciate that because it helps me a lot. All right. So I'm just painting as fast as I can. Oh my goodness. Is this girl serious? Is she going to paint the bottom too? No, just this front lip right here. I'm not going to paint this one here. Maybe I should paint it. <laughs> I just like my stuff looking good on all angles. You know what I mean? All right. I'm more in butterfly things than bee decor. I'm scared to the real bee. Why are you scared of the real bee? Don't be scared of the real bee. <laughs> No, I know. I know what you mean. I, I mean, I would be scared too. I mean, the, the thing is, they demand respect. You know what I mean? The bees demand respect. Everyone respects a bee. You see a bee around, you're like, everyone knows that bee is there. You know what I mean? But the honey, I mean, I love me some honey. Okay. Almost done. Almost done. And I did want to do something on the other side, but I'm still thinking about it. Not tonight. Not today. All right. That's how it's looking. I'm going to go a little bit lower inside here. And I probably should have had my florals. I don't even have my florals here. So I want to use it with sunflowers because I'm obsessed with sunflowers. But I'm not sure that they're accessible right now so i'm gonna let that dry and then all right what else was i gonna do I, I was thinking about distressing it i might distress it with some yellow i want to distress it with a lighter color i don't want to distress it with a darker color so i could either a white wax the top which i'm considering or i could <laughs> <laughs> Tammy, you're so funny. The screaming lets everyone know the bees around me. Exactly. <laughs> Help! Help! The bees here. Help! Let me close the chalk paint because if you don't close it, it turns into a, a thick consistency. Okay. So thinking about white waxing it. What do you guys think? Should I white wax it? I kind of want to. I kind of want to. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to white wax it. Using some white wax. I kind of want to, not going to lie. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use for the bow on the top. I'm going to make a big shabby bow on top. And I want to use this fabric. I believe I got this at Michael's last year. But the fabric is so cute. Let me show you. I got two of them. And both colors really go with whatever season. Do you see that? It has like little bees. I think it's so cute. So I got it in this like. I don't want to say teal. The color on camera looks teal, but it's more, it's more green. It's more green than teal. So, and then I have the same fabric again on, um, but it's a white background. So these are the two different fabrics. Which ones do you guys like better? I'll definitely use whatever you guys like better or both. Which ones do you guys like? Let me know. Let me know. All right. I'm going to white wax. You guys said white wax. So I'm going to do it. All right. I'm not going to wax my fabric. What will you be doing with the fabric? Okay. So with the fabric, I'm thinking about doing a big shabby bow. I'm going to cut strips out of the fabric, like really like um rough, like a rough shabby bow. And I'm going to use... A napkin, this pretty napkin, yes, I'm going to use this one just to rub it on because it's the closest thing to me. But you at home would definitely use something else. So if you see, see, should I move this up? Let me move it up. Hello. Okay. So I'm going to start at the top and I'm just going to 
white wax it. I don't want to add too much and I want it to be kind of random. I like it. You can't see it on camera, but it's kind of going into the little wood grain. Can you see that? It's kind of going into the wood grain and I like that effect. So I'm going to do that. And the reason why you saw me like streak some over here randomly is because I want those to be a little bit more, um, I want them to be a little bit more like pronounced. I do want those streaks there. Why? That's why I did that. So now I'm going to just rub it on. And I'm going side to side so that we have that, um, you know, like that, that motion. It kind of creates like that B steep kind of beehive effect guys it's late so my words are not working no more around here i'm going to go around it's going to go can you see what i'm doing i'm going to go around that way and then i'm going to go out from there And I'm taking off anything I don't want with my finger. <laughs> okay, so I'm kind of rubbing away from there. some dimension. I think it looks kind of cool. I need some more right there. Okay. I like it. I think I like it a lot more. Is it? I'm sorry. <laughs> at least my mic is working today. Yesterday, it was not working at the beginning. So I'd rather it be loud. Let's see. Oh, hi, Bethwin. Welcome, guys. I can't see her name there, but I see her name. Hi. Uh, hi, Red Eye. Red Eye Die. No, Red Eye Die. Welcome. I, I use my finger to blend colors when I'm painting. Yes. Yes, for sure. So um, I was originally going to put some nautical rope around there. Let's see. Can I find nautical rope? Nautical rope, where are you today? Nautical rope. Of course, I can't find it when I need it. I could also use my favorite supply ever. If you're new here, you don't know. But if you're not new here, you know how much I love these straw hats. I could use a straw hat. Or, let me see. Okay, I can't find the nautical rope right now. But it'll be fine. I'm going to start working on the bow. I don't have much time left. This is how it's turning out. I think it's super cute. I also have this welcome sign um, from the Dollar Tree. It's the galvanized metal one and I'm thinking about I mean I'm just going to stick it with hot glue for now just for the filming purposes but you definitely want to use E6000 if you want it to last a really really long time my E6000 is not in this room I lent it to my husband and he didn't bring it back so we all know how that goes right so let me turn you down so you can see I'm just going to put this like that welcome Welcome. And then in there, we'll put some floral foam and some flowers. I'm going to put whatever flowers now, but in my home, I'm going to put the, the sunflowers there. I wanted white sunflowers. So I'm going to put this aside now to dry. And I wanted to put some nautical rope around here. 
to help with the rustic vibe. This is why I didn't put the white wax all the way to there because I want a hot glue. And if I put white wax all the way up to this hole, it's not going to stick properly. So I just didn't white wax around there so I can add the nautical rope with hot glue. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside to dry. Oops, I forgot I didn't glue that. Oh, and now I'm going to work on the shabby bow. So did we pick a fabric? I don't know if we picked a fabric. Did you guys tell me which one you like? My very first video was a beehive. Oh, that's so nostalgic for you. I'm so happy that you have feelings with my craft today. It's all good. All right, Stephanie. I'm just joking. I hope you know that. Um, only response to whistles. Who does? I almost grabbed one of those hats today. I held it in my hand and then I put it back. Haha, <laughs> trying to buy less stuff. I already planned. Yeah, girl, I'm telling you, you should totally, totally get that hat. Totally get that hat. Okay. So, but I understand because it's $1.25 now. So we really do need to budget, you know? All right. I'm going to go ahead and start because I don't have much time. So I'm just going to cut them all together. I know my friend rips them. I don't know. I could try that. I'll try ripping it. Okay. What kind of fabric is this? Good. 100% cotton. I hope it rips. Oh, gosh. So this is live, guys. This is live. Is it going to rip? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Apologies for my nose. This weather has me crazy. And it's okay if it's like, if it has those little like strings, I'm totally okay with that. I'm going for rustic. I'm going for rustic. So I'm going to have it on like that. I might need the longer one actually. This is too short. I might have to cut and rip it the other way. Actually, it's exactly the same. I'm going to continue. I'll probably regret not buying. Yeah, it's usually how it goes. Um, teal? Both? Okay. So you guys want both. Okay. I, I was thinking of both as well. I think it would be really nice to have that um, mix. So I'm just ripping them. Probably going to rip about 15 of each because I want a really big bow. And my laptop completely ripped in half. It's, I mean, broken half. So it's in, my phone is lost. My glue gun stopped working. It's like everything in the universe is not helping me with YouTube videos. So <sighs> I haven't uploaded any videos yet because of that. So how many we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, three more. Um, where was I? Over here. Okay. Did you get that fabric at Dollar Tree? No, I got this one at Michael's, I believe. I think, right? Well, this is the, this is the tag. So I'm pretty sure I got it at Michael's. Pretty sure. All right. Did I forget one? Yes, I forgot one. So we have those. Now let's do this one. How pretty is that though? I love that fabric. And I love how it has blue in there. You see that blue flower there? I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so happy I grabbed these. I've had these for a year. I've had this fabric for a year. Just there waiting for me. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I changed from 15 to 12. Okay, one. I need to be careful. I don't want to drop my craft in the coffee again. Uh-oh. That would be a pretty journal cover. Oh, yeah, for sure. I agree. Um, Let me see. Electronic troubles are no fun. Oh, yeah, for sure. How are you? I love that pattern. Hi, Annie. Welcome. What am I making? I'm making a beehive 
standing sign. A beehive standing sign. Right now I'm making a shabby bow. And it's a bee themed spring DIY. And I'm making like a standing sign for the entrance of my house. I'll show it to you. It's drying on the floor right now. I didn't want to get this fabric wet with um, paint. Hey, Crafty Peep. Crafty Peep is here too. Crafty Peep, I'm making a shabby bow. Well, I'm trying. Let's see how it goes. And we're almost done. I think that's all of it. Yeah, okay. So I got some pretty fabrics. They're kind of bee themed for anyone coming in now. That's one fabric. Oh, wrong side, Fabby. Okay, that's one of the fabrics. And here's the other fabric. And I got these at Michael's. I believe I paid like a dollar or three dollars. I can't remember. It was a year ago. But it's bee themed. So I thought this would be a perfect opportunity. So we definitely need more ribbons. So, oh, I also have this fabric. Look, I think that's so cute. And I also got this one the same day at Michael's. As you can see, I was going for a bee theme. So I'm going to put some of these as well. Because I think this is perfect. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. I'm just going to rip them. And these are all 100% cotton. So I think that's why it's ripping so nicely. Oh, I love the fabric. Yeah, me too. I think it's so cute. How's the weather where you are, Annie? How's the weather? Can everybody tell me how the weather is? We have a huge storm right now. That that yellow honeycomb would be a great addition. I know. All right. I agree. I agree. I've been crafting for the past three hours live. I went on Jerry's channel and I was crafting there first. So that's why I'm kind of like really trying to make this happen. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take a couple of these and I'm going to make them into the tail. So I'm going to make the tails of the bow separate than the actual um, bow itself. So I'm going to take some of these, maybe like, okay, three, four of these, five. Okay, I'm going to take five of these. And then, no, I'm not. Sorry, I'm going to take four of each fabric. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to make different... This is going to be for the tails. So this, this, I'm going to take four of each of the patterns and I'm going to put it in its own pile. You also want to be sure to take these little strings out. Okay, so I'm taking the little strings out as well at the same time. One, two, three, four. Okay, so there's four there as well. Okay, so that's four. Now I'm going to take the other one. One, two, three, four. Put those there. Then one, two, three, four. My kids are awake. Sorry about that. <laughs> all right. So, all right. This is what I'm left with for the actual bow itself. He can hear me. I have to be quiet. He's kind of like, hey, let me in there. I want to craft too. Okay, so this is going to be for the tails. These are going to be dangling, but I don't want them to be the same length, so I might cut some of them. Hi, Ray. Is Ray here? I don't see Ray. That's going to be a great shabby bow. Oh, thanks. So, okay, so that's one. That's going to be for one of the tails, second of the tails, and then this is going to be the actual bow, so we're going to need more. Okay, so the other fabric, I mean, sorry, the other ribbon I have is from Dollar Tree. This one here, this burlapy one might be super cute. I like the polka dots, but it's finished. Let's see if I have another one. Please have another one. That one would be so cute. I use this on my bunny DIY video that I'm working on. I'm still editing, but that's where all this ribbon went to the bunny DIY because of the little dots. I thought it reminded me of cotton tails, you know? All right, so we're going to use something else. I also have this one, which is kind of B ish, I think. We're going to use this one and I'm going to cut it the same length as that. And then I'm going to do another one. I might do 
a mix. I have a green as well as a teal. And both of those colors are going to pull from the actual fabric. So I'm going to use both of the colors. And I need the bow to be bigger and more substantial than the tails. What are you guys talking about? You are so funny. I'm hearing cowboys in the chat. I see hats. Oh, my gosh. This one is not wired. I thought it was, but it's just burlap. It's a green burlap. And it's also from Dollar Tree. All my ribbons are usually from Dollar Tree. And if they're not, I'll definitely, I would let you know. So I'm going to do three of the green. As well as some of this aqua. It's like a light teal color. And this one is wired. So it's going to behave differently. It's just totally fine. I don't care if it's wired or not wired. I think they're beautiful. Do you guys prefer wired or not wired ribbon? Okay. So these, let me see how long these wire, these ribbons are. These ribbons are, let me see. These ribbons are about 16 inches. 16 and a half inches if you're wondering and I just want to make a shabby looking bow so oh I forgot to dovetail them I should dovetail them now I always regret not dovetailing so I'm going to dovetail them really quickly is that going to be too long maybe that's going to be too long it depends on what I'm making yeah it depends on the project yeah thought so I'm just going to dovetail all of them and I wish there was a faster way to do this. But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, no. Come on. Wired 98% of the time, but rag bow is not necessary. Okay. So do you... Okay, hold on. Let me see. Maybe I'll just dovetail half the bow. <laughs> so you see what it looks like if it's dovetailed and if it's not dovetailed. I'm going to dovetail all three of these at the same time. Oh gosh, how's that gonna work? I don't know, let's see. All right, we're going places today. All right, I'm gonna use cotton twine to put them all together. I think it's so funny all the time how we start our crafts and our workspace is so clear. And as we go, our workspace just gets smaller and smaller and smaller and we're like, Oh my goodness, I need to see my project. Okay, so I know that Crafty Peep and um, Christy at Christy's Crafty Cottage, they like to make the um, awareness symbol like this, and then they put it together like this. But I am just going to go like this. I'm going to make the loop, and then I'm going to gather it all together like this with the cotton twine. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to randomly put them together. I hope it works out the way I'm planning in my head. Because, guys, I'm going to X formation them. What do, I, what, do, what do you think I should do? Should I do it like this? Let me think. Live crafting. I'm going to just do the crisscross applesauce, I think. And I want to make sure that they're all different. I want to make sure that there's some green on this side and some green on that side as well. So we have the green, we have the green, we have the blue. Got to put the blue on this side. And then we have the polka dot on that side. I'm going to put it on this side as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and just add this randomly. And then these little bows. Travi, you're amazing at making bows. <laughs> you're funny. I'm not amazing. I've... I have stepped up. I've never made a bow that large. Well, let's see how it goes. D Christy and I don't dovetail rag bows. Well, well, just kidding. It's, I don't know. Let's see what happens. I mean, I could totally cut it off. So, you know, the checker is probably that referred to. Oh my gosh. I need to focus, John. I need to focus. All right. So I'm going to do it all like this. As you can see, I just I, okay, so I made the crisscross. Sorry, I got distracted. Made the crisscross and I just put the fabric on top. And now I'm going to kind of like 
loop them. This is my plan. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm just going to like loop it like this and secure it in the center. That's what I'm going to do. Is that the right way? I'm not sure. I'm probably going to cut these loose as well. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Where's the cotton twine? Here it goes. So I got the cotton twine now. And I'm just going to wrap them like so. I hope you guys saw what I did. Okay. And this is not the right way. This is just the way I'm doing it. So feel free to do yours however you want to do it. It's just crafting, you know? It's not the end of the world. If you mess up, it's fine. Just do it again. I might cut the um the, the things, the might cut the loops. There you go. That's the word, loops. I might cut the loops open. So I just wrapped the cotton twine in the center a couple times. You guys can see that. And I'm going to tie it. My project is on the floor, by the way. It's drying. I just I just painted it. So if you're just check if you're just coming in right now, I will show you my project. It's a beehive. And I used one of those egg, those large eggs from the family dollar. Ow. I just hit the wall. Okay. So that's how it's looking for now. And I'm thinking about, well, I could totally like, you know, fluff it up or whatever, but we want it to be raggly, you know? So I'm thinking some raggly bits like this, some raggly bits like this. Raggedy Ann. I love that. That's what my mom says. She goes, oh, very raggedy Ann. Um, so we're going to do it like that. You could totally, you know, cut them at different lengths. So it's like super cute. Um, I like messy stuff. I like the, I might do the rolls like this. Put that wall there. <laughs> yeah, that wall was not there a second ago. I mean, what is going on here? So I could keep it, you know, kind of like fluffed to add volume. And then, um, or I could cut it. <laughs> Look, this side came out. So, I mean, I could have like a variety See what I'm saying? Like I could have it like that or I could just cut it all together. So if I cut this, I guess I could. I don't know if I want to though. I kind of like it as is. And then just fluff it out. But I want the polka dots to show because they're so cute. I want the polka dots to show. Just fluff the bow. Now these are going to be the tails. I hope I didn't just mix it all together. So these are going to be longer tails. So I'm going to tie them together at the top here I'm gonna tie them together as you can see at the end here I gotta hurry up I gotta hurry up it's already really 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 late I'm gonna do it for both this one and this one uh oh okay this one and this one so what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna, I'm just tying them all together at the very end. That's all I'm doing right now. Nothing fancy. And I'm just gonna like kind of leave it like that. Totally lost one, totally, totally lost two. And I'm gonna have this kind of dangling down on our beehive, but I don't wanna hide the beehive. So let's see how it looks. Let's go look at the beehive and see what's going on. All right, so this is the beehive that we just worked on just a second ago. This is a two parts. You know, I'm going to add some burl, um, nautical rope around the center here. This is still drying, but I added some white wax to it to kind of distress it some. And now I'm thinking about putting this shabby bow on top. And I think it's going to be really cute. Like that. I think it's going to be so cute. I love it. I think I love it. Like that. And then the tails... This is the side I tied it on. I'm just going to have it kind of hanging. And I will cut them at different lengths. Thanks so much, Michelle. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue. Oh, no. I white waxed it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. So I'm going to focus most of my glue at the top there. Okay. I'm going to put it at the top. 
might even hop. So this is the first tail of the bow. And this is the second tail. Remember, I'm going to trim it and cut it. So don't freak out. It's not done. And then this one here, not you, but you know, anyone. And then this one here, I'm going to put right there next to it. You could totally secure it some more in the back. Where are the little, oh, yeah, you're right, the little bees. I popped them out yesterday. That's a good idea. Totally forgot. Now I'm going to add hot glue onto the actual fabric. Oh, I need more hot glue. I need more hot glue. I'm going to add some hot glue to the actual fabric. I did. Yesterday I did make some um, bee, like some little pieces of, can you guys see? No, you can't. Of course not. Not at this angle. I just added a whole bunch of hot glue right there. And I'm just going to stick this on. And I like shabby, like big, messy bows. I could totally cut this as well. Got to cut some of these. I want it to be shabbier. Okay. And I'm going to put it on like that. Right on the top. Ridiculous? Yes. Of course it's ridiculous. But I love it. And it's a beehive, John. It's a beehive. It's not an egg anymore, okay? It's not an egg. All right. Like that. I'm going to put the welcome sign at the bottom. And then we're going to put the florals in. But I'm sure you guys know how to put the florals. Okay. One second. Why didn't you catch my bow? It just fell. I thought you guys had my back. I thought you were going to catch my bow for me. All right. I need to hold it for a lot longer. So there you go like that. I'm going to hold it for a really long time. I got to go, guys. But I'm going to add this right here and then some bees on the side. Okay. So I'll leave it like that. Hold it with my chin. No, just kidding. Hold on. I'm just going to put one of these little clippy things to hold it there because mama ain't got time. And then going to just hot glue this but you want to use e6000 if it's your project for it to actually stick there forever put it like so have a cute little welcome flower box for your house and then this of course we don't want to hide the um the hive itself right so we're just going to leave some of them long let's see some of them short and i'm just going to keep going until i'm happy with it this is definitely kind of shabby chic -y. the flowers and the stuff. And then yesterday I used this mold, but this is basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this bow. I'm going to keep trimming as I see fit. But obviously on your project, do whatever you want. Like, the, like I love this craziness. Um, and then I was going to add florals. So let me just show you there. Obviously you're going to add um, your own. Where did I put the florals? One second. I'm also going to add a little piece of this. Ow! Did I get suck? Okay. I'm also going to add some of this and have it kind of peeking out of the floral of the box there. Have it kind of peeking out just for some texture. So I'm going to cut into this. I guess I could do that now since I'm talking about it. I'm just going to cut it just to add some texture. You could totally put burlap as well. Just to give it kind of that hivey texture. Hivey, yes, that word. Hivey texture. And then I'm gonna um, stick it in there. Then, where are my florals? Florals, where are you? Oh. Here, I'm just gonna stick some magnolias for you guys to see, all right? But that's what I'm trying to say. But, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go. It's a disaster. Thank you guys so much for logging for for tuning in today. Oh, I really gotta go. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Have a good night, and um, catch you on the next one. Bye.